Hello, this is Frank Dilo from Afri Design Studios Limited, and this is Revit Architecture Made Easy. Today we shall be looking at how to save your Revit projects in your system. And secondly, we shall be looking at how to set your levels in Revit. To begin, let's start with the saving of our projects. To save this project, go to the application menu, click on this drop down arrow, click on save. Depending on whether you want to save it on documents or you want to save it on desktop, for me, I normally save my work on desktop. I come here and click on desktop. <coughs> the next thing I have to do is to give the name I want to assign to this project. I come to find name, click inside this box and type Frank's project. After typing Frank's project, the next thing I do is to move to options. Click on options. I come to maximum backups. You can see that what we have there is three. Make it one. Then click OK. After clicking OK, you can now come to save and click on save. Then when you look at the title bar, you will see the name of the project you have just typed in, meaning you have saved this project. Anytime you are looking for this project on your system, just type in Frank's project and the name will appear. Having said that, the next thing we move on to is to set the levels for your work. Every project you must do on Revit, you must have to set the levels. And this is where most students most beginners find it difficult if you can get your levels right everything will fall into perfect place now how do you set your level to set your levels you must go to an elevation view and for you to go to an elevation view you must have to go through the project browser now i move to the project browser I move to South Elevation and double click on it. When you double click on this job, South Elevation, the two levels that are there by default will appear, level 1 and level 2. But you have to give it your own height and give it the names you can understand, the names you can recognize. By the way, let me give you an image that will show you how this level we are talking about really is what is this level if you don't have the clear picture of what levels are you may not be able to set your levels properly so let me go to my desktop and bring out an image that displays or explains how the levels look like yeah this is a typical image showing you how the levels are arranged the one at the, uh, the, 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 the lowest point is the natural ground level. You now have your ground floor level. You have your beam level on the top level. You have your first floor level. You have your first beam level. Then you have your roof level as the final one. But you can see this extra level here. This extra level was added because of this wall that protects the tank here. So this is how your levels should look like. Something like this. Yours may not be exactly like this because your height may not be the same with my own height. My headrooms are usually 3 meters. 3,000 millimeters. Yours can be 3,600 depending on what you choose to give it. So having seen this, I'm going to set this level exactly the way it is here because this is the project we'll be working with. This building here is what we, we are going to model exactly what we have here. So this is exactly the level I'm going to set now. And with this, you can be able to set your own levels. Let's go back to the project. So, 
when you are at this level, this point, what do you do? All we have here is only two levels, but from the image I, I showed you, we have up to six levels there. How do you create more, more levels and assign to them the exact height you want them to be? To do that, you have to set the level that is before you, the default level, set it to the level you want it to be first. This one is, the level 2 is 4,000, which is 4 meters. And that is too high for a DPC. We are going to set our DPC level, which is the same thing as our ground floor level. How do you do that? Just zoom in to this 4,000, double click on the 4,000, and type 600. The height of my DPC is 600. Yours may be 450, yours may be 750, it may be 900. But for this tutorial, it is 600 we are going to be using. After typing the 600, just press enter on your screen and it will move down to the actual height you want it to be. The next thing you do is to create more levels depending on how many more levels you want on this on your project. How do you do that? You simply go here where you have level. Click on this level. Then, move to this place where we, have, where we will call the draw panel. Select pick lines. After that, move to offset here. The whole of this place is called the options bar. Move to options bar and click inside the box for offset. Erase whatever you have there and put 2400. 2400 is the height of my beam from the DPC or from the ground floor level. So when I have typed 2400, I move down my cursor to level 2 line. A dotted line is going to appear on top of that line. Once it appears on top, click there and it will be positioned. Now level 3 has been created. We want to create level 4. What do you do? This time around, you still move in to the offset box. Click inside there and wipe away the 2400 and type 750. Uh, it's supposed to be 600 millimeters, but because you are adding 150 millimeters for the floor slab, it's now going to be 750 millimeters. Then bring down your cursor again on top of this line, on top of level 3 line. And click it's going to give you level 4 this is how you continue moving up and up and up until you get to the final level depending on how high your building or your model is going to be because this is going to be a one-story building I still need to create more levels so I still move in to my offset box I type 600 no, 2400 for my first floor beam. My first floor beam is 2400. I now click on it. I drop my cursor here and click. Level 5 will appear. I have to create the final level by going inside the offset again. Wipe away whatever that was inside there and type 600. I'm typing 600 this time around because there is no floor slab. So 600 is the height from my first floor beam to my roof level. That is my eve level. Or what you can also call the head overhead course. Now you move down your cursor down here and click. I have created my six levels for this floor. But there's one additional level I have to create, which I call the extra level. This extra level, actually, it was not supposed to be there. But because of the tank that we are going to have at the roof, this wall I'm going to create now is going to shield it. For that reason, I have to go to offset again and click inside and make it 900. Then I come down here and click. 
I'm done with the creation of levels. Now, if you look at these levels, you discover that they are having level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and so on and so forth. But then, you have to give it a name or names that are familiar to you, names that you can recognize, names that will be easy for you to work with. So I start to change their various names. How do I do that? I come to each one of them. But before that, you can see that some of them are overlapping on each other. To make them free from each other, I have to go to scale. Go to your view control bar. Click on the scale, 1 is to 100, and change it to 1 is to 50. Then everything will be free from each other. I want to change their names now. You can see that my cursor is still on. My action is still on. So you have to end the command. This cursor is still in cross, cross form. Neutralize it to free everything before you start changing the names. If it is like this, you cannot change the names. So press escape twice. And it is neutralized. This is the end of the, uh, the uh, operation. To change the names now, go to level 1, double click on level, level 1 and give it a name. For me, I, you know, my, I will give it 01 natural ground level. I press enter. It will ask me, would you like to rename corresponding views? I say yes. I move to the next one, level 2. I double click on it. I type 02. Ground floor level. I press enter. I press yes. The next one, level 3, I move there and double click on level 3. I type 03. Beam. I press enter. I click yes. I move to the next one. Level 4. I double click on it. I type 04. First floor level. I press enter. I click yes. I move to the next one. Level 5. I double click on level 5. I type 0, 05. Beam 1. I press enter. I click yes. I move to level 6. I double click on it. I type 0, 06. And this is my roof level. I type roof. I press enter. I click yes. Then I move to the final one. I double click on it. I say zero seven. I type extra because this is an additional wall I'm adding. I now press enter. I click yes. When I'm done with this, I now press escape twice again. In order to neutralize or to end the command so i'm done creating my levels this is how to create your levels you can see level one level two level three level four five six and seven but they now have the name that make meaning to you the name you can use to recognize them as you walk thank you for watching and see you in the next class.